We present Cloth Vuitton, clothing three-dimensional reconstruction for hybrid image-based virtual try-on. We authors are from Seoul National University of Science and Technology. We propose a novel hybrid approach for image-based virtual try-on to generate try-on results with the highest quality. We reconstruct 3D cloth models from single images and apply 3D deformation. Then we use it in the image-based virtual trial. One of the main limitations from the SODA image-based virtual trial methods is that they cannot preserve the full texture details of the target cloth into the final output. As you can see in this comparison, none of the previous methods are able to preserve textures accurately. They produce blurry and distorted textures. They work better for monocolored target clothes, but not with complex textures. This is mainly due to the image features passing through the neural network layers, where it gets downscaled and then upscaled. However, our method, Cloth Viton, can preserve the highest quality textures. Another inherent imitation of the 2D non-rigid deformation algorithms is that they fail to deform the target clothes into complex 3D poses. This is because they try to solve the problem in 2D space, whereas the problem itself is from the 3D space. Previous methods can somehow mitigate this problem in the final output by utilizing the in-painting properties of the deep networks. However, they fail to generate good results for test cases where the target clothes have long sleeves and or the reference humans have complex poses. Therefore, we apply our hybrid approach to solve the cloth deformation problem in the 3D space. In this approach, to solve the cloth deformation problem in the 3D space, we can clearly see that none of the previous cloth deformation uh, makes any sense. However, our method can correctly deform the clothes according to the target human poses. We show more comparison of the results between our cloth viton and the previous soda methods. Our method can preserve the highest quality in terms of both detailed textures and resolutions. This is our full method pipeline. We use a standard a post SMPL body model as the reference and apply 2D clothing matching on the target cloth image according to the reference model. We reconstruct the 3D cloth model from the 2D matched cloth using the reference SMPL body model. Then we deform the cloth model by applying estimated 3D pose and shape from the target human image. Finally, we generate the necessary body parts and combine with the rendered deformed cloth to produce the final try-on result. Now I'll go into more details of our proposed method. First, we generate the target body segmentation and the target cloth on person mask based on the inputs. We generate the target human body segmentation according to the target cloth using a generator discriminator network. We call this segmentation generation network, SGN. Here, we generate the body segmentation except for the upper clothing area. Then, we use the mask generation network, MGN, to generate the target cloth mask on person. We use the similar GAN network here as well. Second part of our method is 2D clothing matching. We explored two approaches here, categorized and automated, for warping the target cloth according to the standard A-post reference SNPL model. For the categorized matching, we divide the Viton test dataset clothes into five categories, long sleeve, half sleeve, short sleeve half elbow, short sleeve quarter elbow, and sleeveless. We make corresponding mask silhouette from the reference SMPL model silhouette for these five categories. Then we apply the combination of 
shape context matching and thin plate spline transformation to get the 2D matched clothes based on each category. For the automatic matching, for the automatic matching, we use the combination of SGN and MGN networks from the previous stage. We apply segmentation and mask generation networks according to the reference SMPL model input and generate the clothes masks for 2D matching. Then we apply the combination of shape context matching and thin plate spline transformation to get the 2D matched clothes, where the mask silhouette for 2D matching is now specific for each cloth input and automatically generated. Next step is to reconstruct the 3D clothing models from the 2D matched clothes and apply 3D deformation to get the final warped clothes. First, we reconstruct our standard A post reference SMPL model and apply the 2D matched cloth as the texture. Simultaneously, we estimate 3D SMPL pose and shape parameters from the target human image using the simplify optimization with 2D pose key points predicted from the target human image. Then we repose the 3D cloth model according to the estimated human model and produce the 3D deformed cloth model. We render the deformed cloth model to get the final warped cloth image. Final stage of our cloth viton is to generate the clothing affected target body skin parts and to fuse all the target segments to generate the final try on result. We use the parts generation network PGN to generate the target body skin parts from the target body segmentation. We use a GAN architecture here as well. Finally, we put all the parts together using a simple fine alignment approach. We fuse the input human representation, that is the unchanged body parts, warped cloth from the 3D different cloth model and the generated target body skin parts together. This way, we do not lose any texture details or um, our results suffer from any blurry effects and we can generate the virtual try on results with the highest quality possible. Here we present additional testing results from our approach Cloth Viton from the Viton dataset. Our method preserves the details and quality highly realistically. We also test our approach on the images in the wild our method Cloth Viton works effectively for reconstructing 3D clothing models from any images and can be applied for virtual try-on with any real-world person images. As for limitations, Cloth Viton may have some minor artifacts due to the mismatch in the 3D model parameter estimations or parts generation. So, we can further improve our results by applying a refinement network to mitigate the artifacts due to the misalignments. Thank you very much for watching our presentation. Please feel free to ask any questions on our paper and the method.